Was there any no sexy time rules when Big Laws was competing? Sexy time, sexy time. Right then, you bunch of perverts. Let's see what questions you've been asking a strong man's wife. Little disclaimer, they were not all perverted. Most of them weren't, to be fair, some of them. I'm just having some fun. I know, I know. <laughs> For some reason we thought, yeah, let's give people the opportunity to do it anonymously. Big mistake. <laughs> When did we say you'd give them the opportunity to do it anonymously? Oh, I think I just thought it in my head. <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe people would open up more, and boy, did they. Oh, well, there you go. Let's see what they've got to say. Question number one. Do the partners of strong men have a community too? It must be hard at times. We don't have a community per se. We don't have like organized meetings or outings, but we- <laughs> I want to see you all on an outing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With, you know, I know I could message one of them if I needed them and I would like to think they could do the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've made a lot of good friends. Yeah, stuff. yeah, we get on well and we understand what the others are going through. So we're there for each other, definitely. Was there any times that it was tough on you emotionally when Loz was competing? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the for most of it, yeah. You're definitely happier with me not competing, aren't you? Ah, happier, just uh, more content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was rough sometimes. There are other questions that will delve deeper into that okay. further on, but yes, is the uh, short answer. Have you ever been tempted to compete yourself? Being in that sort of environment around strong men and women, has it ever made you wonder what you could be capable of? No, <laughs> it hasn't. Yeah, I knew that was going to be your answer. No, it hasn't. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because you're so heavily involved in strong man, strong man, <laughs> people automatically <laughs> think that you want to compete. But there's plenty of people out there that just like a sport. Yeah, and plenty of the wives that don't compete in anything mm, as well. Yeah. But when you put so much into another person, do you have enough to put into your own competitive career? Maybe. Some people manage it, but... Not me. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you genuinely love Strongman, but you yeah. don't have any kind of... I don't want to do it. Yeah. I like to watch it. Some people like watching football, but they yeah. don't want to do it. So, no. Was there any no sexy time rules when Big Laws was competing like boxers do, etc.? No, there was never any no sexy time rules. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. <laughs> was it easy to get pregnant after Laws's AAS use? <laughs> Yes, because I accidentally fell pregnant during his Europe Strongest Man 2017 prep. There you go. <laughs> yes, so uh, no issues there. Very happy accident. Whoops. Is all the travelling difficult, especially with having kids? Yeah, it can be. It could be really tiring, but um, we're just so lucky to have such a supportive family that allow us to do this and for us to know that the children are in very safe and well-loved hands when um, when we are away. So we're very lucky, aren't we? We are lucky. We do miss them a lot when we're away. Yeah, we do. It is hard. It's kind of nice. You have like one or two days where you enjoy like, the peace oh, and then you miss them. Yeah, yeah, you miss them desperately. But it's usually, even though it's quite frequent, it's never for that long yeah. normally, no more than a few days. Did you ever feel more like an employee than a wife when Loz was competing? Assuming you spent a lot of time on cooking meals, looking after kids and accommodating his sleep schedule, etc. No, not really. No, no. I think sometimes people overthink how complicated a strong man life is. Yeah, to be fair, it's less complicated than a nine to five job a lot of the time. I mean, you work a lot harder now than you did back then. Absolutely, and you, you worked full time back then anyway. Yes, yeah, so I was like, out at the house all we, day. We didn't see each other much back no, then, to be no. honest. But I certainly didn't feel like an employee. No, no. in fact, you're, <laughs> you're more I'm like more an like now. one now, <laughs> yeah. But it was just like, <laughs> Liz had her job. She was very supportive of what I did, but it wasn't like a lot of times I just make my own meals. Yeah, yeah. You know, she su supported me. But yeah. I think sometimes people kind of think to be a pro takes this kind of crazy, dedicated lifestyle. And, you know, yeah. in, in many ways it does. Yeah. But it doesn't have to consume everything that you do. You can no. still have We're a relationship. Still you can a normal still couple have, of family. You know, yeah. you know, you can still have a job. It's, mm. There's plenty of people that have proven that. You know, yeah. there's a lot, I think a lot of young people think, right, you've got to be sleeping this many hours. You've got to be training this many. And, you, you know, you don't. <laughs> you no. Sometimes just chilling a little bit helps. A little, yeah, uh, yeah. You go a long way in terms of, of being good at that. And this having thing. other things in your life that you can focus on as well. Absolutely. What's the hardest part about having a spouse competing in strongman? 
knowing how much it means to them and how there's very little you can do on the day to impact that result and how much it can take an emotional and mental strain on them if things don't go well. Yeah. What's worse, the protein farts or the mood swings? Definitely the protein farts. He never, don't have mood swings. He's always moody. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no, 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 definitely the protein farts. You don't have mood swings. So. No, I, I certainly don't think doing strongman sort of made me any moodier than anyone else. No. Like, I'm normal. I, yeah, I might have days where I'm you have a in the grumpy day. or whatever, yeah, yeah. but I, I think we see a lot of things these days that it's not really what it was like for me. You know, we're seeing a lot of things online at the moment, and I don't think it was like that. Not really our experience at yeah. all. I think also the media, they plant a lot of seeds. These athletes, they're all doing this and that, mm. and they're going home and shouting at the wife. And it's not, it wasn't like that for us, was it? I hope not. No, well, I wouldn't still be so, would I? I'd have you locked up. I think it's weird, isn't it? Because we're, we're quite good friends with so many of them. Yeah. And most of the guys are pretty chill. They're just chill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chill guys. Yeah, no, the protein fast. A lot of fast. banter, a lot of you know, behind the scenes and fun and yeah. a lot of farts, I'd imagine. Yeah, but, yeah. And they're the know, worst part. <laughs> you know, men fart, not just strong men. No. Women, women fart. <laughs> Most don't. Have you ever worried about the financial side of the career that Loz had, especially since at the time the prize money was much lower? For the most part, no. I think the only time I was maybe thinking yikes was after his 2019 injury with the Achilles heel, just because it really felt like at the time this is one he wouldn't be able to come back from and we didn't know what he'd be able to do. But I had a solid job the whole time. You were bringing in money the whole time too, weren't you? And not just prize money, like, you were doing a lot of seminars and training workshops coaching. and you were coaching mm -hmm. and uh, sponsorships and stuff. So it was never, it, it was just that small period of time, wasn't it? In 2019 where we didn't have much in savings at that point because we'd bought the mm -hmm. house, we'd had the wedding, we'd had a baby and I'd been on maternity leave and we were a little bit like, but... Um, I was like on the sofa, like, finished career. <laughs> no one's going to be interested in saying, me. I'm going to have to become a bin man or something. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> One, don't be rude about bin men. <laughs> it's an ab <laughs> admirable job that someone's got to do. And two, I would have done it. yeah, yeah, get a grip. <laughs> You'll be fine. You, you were good at just kind of giving me a kick up the backside a lot of the time. You really. did need it sometimes, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Have you had a oh fuck moment injury test results etc. And have you had a good oh fuck moment winning Europe's etc. Yeah, I think the worst injury oh fuck moment. Like the biggest OF in my head wasn't actually the Achilles because we were pretty chill that day and you'd already had a bit of a rough start, you know. <laughs> um, it was probably in Malaysia mm. when that Thor's hammer thing. Norse hammer, came, yeah. Norse hammer, that was it, came down on you. Um, you can hear Visually, me scream. Visually that was pretty terrifying. It was scary well. to, to see, yeah, to be right on the sideline and see that. Um, yeah, that was probably the scariest. Um, None of my good moments really make me think, oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's weird. But there were obviously tons of good moments. More good than bad. Definitely more good than bad. Did you find him having to feed himself a lot very antisocial? No, not at all. Lost can talk and eat. <laughs> no, it's fine. No. Talk no. with my mouth full. <laughs> if you were to go through the journey of Lost being a strongman again, what would you do differently? Hmm, that's an interesting question for mm. me. I would probably try to find a way to relax and enjoy it more in the moment. You know, even as, as the partner, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, oh God, even more, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I didn't really enjoy it until it was done. And then it's done then, isn't it? Well, <laughs> so, here, here's uh, a good follow-up question. Okay. How do you manage the nerves, anxiety around potential of injuries? I never manage them. <laughs> like, if someone was to come to me for advice, I wouldn't be able to give any decent Did advice. Did you, like, worry about injuries before they happened or was yeah. it just really yeah of course what during competition yeah yeah i couldn't eat on competition day because you worried about me getting hurt yeah i was so anxious the whole time i'd be on an empty stomach i'd be absolutely it's interesting because like, when i was younger i just didn't even think about injuries no they weren't a thought process you weren't that young when i met you that's true <laughs> no, you were 29 for, yeah so. been competing for a long time yeah. but um as i got older and i suffered more injuries that became a lot harder because mm. then you do have that thought process in the back yeah. of your mind but all the time when i competed when it came to like the start line i was like 
Right, injuries don't matter now. Mm. You've got to focus on what you're doing. And I never put my nerves on you or let you know no. I was nervous, no, no, no. did I? Not once, Not because I was there. I was your rock. She but in, inside, I was dying. Would a strong man physique have been the physique you were most attracted to before meeting Loz? <laughs> strong men vary in physique, to be fair. Yeah, they vary massively. And to be honest, I'm more of a about the person and the rest comes second. So... Yeah, why not? Like, who doesn't want a big, hairy, strong man? <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. What's it like living with a strong man? Surely their mindset and personality is different when competing to not competing. Yes, God. Imagine living with a man who hits himself with a metal stick around the head to suck himself plastic up. Plastic stick. Wait, is it? Is yeah, it? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Totally plastic. Yeah, no, totally different. Lars is very good at switching it on and off when needed in a competition. I think people see more of my personality now and yes. understand, like, I'm quite a chilled, laid-back person. But yeah. when I was younger and going crazy before, I think people thought I was mental, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, you did like, look at it. People thought at home I'd be kind of... I've Crazy. had people make comments to me like, aren't you afraid of him? Like, no. <laughs> have you met him? They hadn't. Can you talk about how you balance it all? I love you and Loz and the realness you bring. That's very kind. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> we just balance it the same way all families do. You know, sometimes we're late for picking up the kids <laughs> and we just make it work. We're lucky to have ha a family that help us out. We, I mean, we're really lucky because for the most part, we're at home with the kids, mm. aren't we? Like. Most days we're able to take them and pick them up from school ourselves. We're always there for bedtime, etc. It's only when, really when we travel that um, we do work long hours though. I worked out, we work about 80 hours each a week. Mm -hmm. So we have very late nights, probably not enough sleep, but it's worth it, I think. We're doing something that we love, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. Um, did it bother you when he was on PEDS? No. I was always very open with Liz from the minute we met so that if anything was ever to go wrong, mm. if we went to the hospital, she would know exactly what I'd be using at the time and be exactly able to, much. you know, yeah. so, and I think everyone would be surprised at how little I used. I was going to say, it was never like, oh my God, this is a real concern. I know of women that use more and your regular gym bros who will never compete in anything that use a lot more. So I wasn't really concerned. Was there ever a time when Loz got injured or down that you wanted him to call it quits? No, never. Because it, he had to step away for the right reasons. In fact, if he had retired straight after an injury, that would have been the worst thing he could have done because it wouldn't have been on his terms. He would have forced him out. So, no, never. Because I wanted him to be happy to leave it behind. And that wouldn't have been a happy ending i've been very lucky like liz has really been supportive and you know has never put that kind of pressure on me when it comes to a strong man so i it had to be your think, choice you know, thank you for, oh, you're for welcome, being love. that's fine <laughs> what are ways that athletes can make their partners know that they are the most important thing in their life when so much time and effort goes into training eating etc looking for simple tips it's hard to be outgoing and, and enthusiastic in a relationship when you feel dead I would say like you don't have to do any big grand gestures or anything, but just let them in and don't keep them out. Like share how you're feeling and why you're feeling that way and just make them a part of the journey. And don't forget to be romantic. Just the occasional flower delivery or something. It makes us feel special. <laughs> I'm not speaking for myself, but yeah. I'll get some flowers. Yeah, it's been a while. How many toilets, chairs, beds did you have to buy because of his weight? Not that many. You have, like, our chairs do not last as long as they're supposed to last. But it's not like he sits on them and they shatter. That's only happened a couple of times. <laughs> do you ever find it intimidating or scary at events in gyms given the massive size difference between the other strongmen and yourself? Never. No. If anything, I feel safer. Yeah. The, the strong men are such gentlemen, like genuinely. If you're trying to get out of a car, Nova Cop will run over and give you a hand and help you out. They are, like, I feel very, very safe being around the strong men. It's like you've got a bunch of big bodyguards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel like the safest person in the gym. Like, it's not like they turn or anything, you know, if they get wet. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Never feel intimidated. The only one time, and not for my personal safety, just general safety, was when Pavla was throwing some haymakers. But even he's lovely now. So, yeah, yeah no, no intimidation. 
Have you ever regretted leaving your stable nine to five job to put in the long hours to support your husband and grow the channel? No, I've never regretted it. I have had moments of doubt where I thought, am I absolutely crazy? Because I loved my job and it was a good job as well. And I thought, it, and it was a cushy job. No, I, I don't regret it, but I have had moments where I thought, was I mad for giving mm. up like a sure thing? But it's, it's been working. It took a while for us to take the plunge as well, didn't it? Like, yeah. We kind of thought so about it and yeah. then it was like, all right, we're going to commit to it. I was doing both for mm. a while and it was killing me. So yeah. it was either, yeah. Yeah. All or nothing, I guess. Which moment of Loz's career are you proudest of as his wife? I guess the most obvious answers are the like biggest titles that you've won. But I would say, like in 2014 at World's Strongest Man, after the first event, you came last in the anvil loading and he was so upset, like you were so ready to go home. But he came back and then you won like two or three events mm. in that group. I'm more proud of that sort of thing where you pulled your finger out of your ass. And do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, did something like that. And like individual performances as well, where mm. you've really pushed yourself. So, yeah, I would say those are the prouder moments. Was your intimacy affected a lot by comps, prep, bulking, leaning, etc.? No, not at all. <laughs> How did you feel when Loz got injured? Awful, like, but not for me. And he always, it, it's funny, because in an athlete's mind, they've let everyone else down, like the people that were supporting them and who have been along the journey. But for everyone else looking in, you're only disappointed for that person because you know how much it meant to them. So I always felt bad, but because I knew how bad he felt. How much does the food shop cost? Hubby wanting to start Strongman properly, and <clears throat> I don't think I'm mentally prepared for the amount of cooking and shopping. There are probably ways to do it much cheaper than we do, but it costs about a thousand pounds a month, wasn't it? Spending on food. We were spending about a thousand pounds a month on food. Yeah, 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 but it could be done cheaper. Bear in mind, we're a family of five. Yeah, that wasn't. A yeah, thousand no, pounds that just wasn't on just, me. No, that wasn't last. No, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's a thousand pounds a month for the household. Yeah. yeah. Hi Liz, thanks for great con for the great content. What are three things you would change in the sport, e.g., governing body, if it were up to you as a spectator of strongman all these years? Oh man, that's, that's a tough one. Yeah, that deserves some thought. Um, I think some form of governing body could be good. Something where a, a reassurance, I guess, to athletes and fans that, you know, everyone, all of the promoters and people putting on competitions are being held to a certain standard. And because there's been so much talk, I guess, about favoritism, corruption, this and that. I think better transparency would definitely be one. Accountability, maybe in the form of a governing body, although we wouldn't want it to become too crazy either. Do you know what I mean? Like the strongman police. A third thing. I would like strongman on TV when it is happening and not as a TV show, however many months down the line. It's a sport and it should be treated like one. Have you ever got emotional on your own after a comp or an event? There's only one time I can think of. Um, it was 2016 World Strongest Man. It was not long after he'd won Europe's. And it was just, it felt so important that he made the final because it would have been like, oh yeah, Europe's Strongest Man, but he can't even make the final. So I was just dying for him to um, get into the final. And it was in Botswana and I was at home with the kids and there was no signal where you were out doing the competition. So I would get all of the results at the end of the day when he messaged me. And I remember he called me to say, like, cause it was looking a little bit dodgy at one point. I think in the middle, things didn't quite go to plan. But then he called me and said he made the final once he got back to the hotel. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant. Hung up the phone and just burst into tears <laughs> cause I've been on edge so much all day waiting to hear either way. So yeah. It's the worst bit. It is not horrible not knowing, but sometimes it's horrible knowing as well. <laughs> what initially attracted you to me? Your personality. <laughs> Your legs. <laughs> Quads, specifically. <laughs> Quads. Quads, there we go. What's the worst part about it that isn't talked about enough? The worst part about the genre? It's a hard one, because I think any bad parts are talked about quite a bit. In fact, I feel like some of the bad parts are almost not like over-talked about. That would be the wrong phrase. But they're almost made... 
I think sometimes the bad things about strongman are a bigger deal to the fans than they are to the strong men doing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the fans get more emotional than the strong men do. Mm. I think like some of the bad stuff as an example, lack of transparency sometimes about why things happen the way that they happen. Um, maybe like favoritism, it could seem like sometimes with people being promoted more than others or chosen over others and stuff like that. But um I, like I said, I feel like those things are probably talked about quite a bit, especially in the fandom of Strongman, which I'm a part of because I'm like read Reddit all the time and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Auntie Liz, did you know the workload you were taking on with the editing and creating content are now sponsors in videos when you started the channel? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it was going to be hard work to make it work, but it's work I genuinely really enjoy doing. Um, you don't care then, do you? You're doing it for yourself. It's something that's fun and gratifying, so yeah, don't mind at all. What's the most embarrassing thing you have done to support Loz, asking from Denmark? Have I done anything embarrassing? Not that I don't do embarrassing things. You do a lot of embarrassing things, but that's just you. What? As a, <laughs> As a person. But nothing kind of, I don't think you've done anything sort of overly embarrassing. No, no, probably just like screaming a bit too hysterically, you know? No, that's not but that's fine. That's all right, isn't it? No, no, I'm really cool. There's a lot of talk about bullying and harassment in the lightweight men's women's side of the sport. Have you ever seen this? No, um, but that's, it's not to say it doesn't happen. Um, obviously, it's hard because I've only ever really been part of the pro strongman scene and it's only this last year and a half, um, not even that, that I've been to the lightweight and the women's stuff. I've never seen bullying, but I wouldn't expect to see, but like, do you know what I mean? It's not the school playground, is it? No. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm sure it does to some extent. In the pro men's, I've never seen bullying. I've seen disagreements and maybe people that just don't particularly like each other. But for the most part, it's extremely friendly, like mm. very friendly. So no, that's not been my experience, but that's not to say it doesn't happen. Can you keep up with the trend horn levels? <laughs> no. <laughs> I object, actually. <laughs> Trent, he's not on trend, so no. <laughs> Don't you feel it's a bit archaic that you have to put them first? It's all about them. You look after the kids and the house more than they do, etc. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't how things were for us. So when I was employed, Loz would be the one in the morning because I would leave so early. He'd be the one getting the kids ready for school and nursery, dropping them off, picking them up, cooking his own meals. Loz does housework. So no, no, not at all. Being with him in so many comps for so many years, can you sense when he needs nourishment after a big lift or help him make decisions on recovery or lifts? My wife acts like my coach when we go to competitions. Mm. I, like, Loz knows his own body really, really well. I know exactly what Loz is thinking when I look at him in a competition. I know he knows and doesn't need me to tell him anything. And I know when it is and isn't okay to talk to Loz so, during a competition, because it's not always okay. So no, I didn't do anything like that. I would have things on hand when I knew he'd want it I, and he'd reach for it. And but it was almost an unspoken yeah, thing. My, yeah, my personality, I wouldn't want Liz being there sort Fussing. of mummying me no. all the time. I like to be left alone at competitions. Mm. Like, actually, I like to kind of chill out and banter and joke with, with the guys. And then when it's time to get serious, I'll get serious and I want to be on my own. Mm. And if something, if I need something, I'm okay at asking you mm. and you're good at like getting so, things for me if, yeah, I, yeah. if I need them or something. But it's, you, we, we kind of know to give each other space at certain times, yeah. I think. It's, it's interesting though, because everyone's so different and being in that environment a lot, you learn what everyone needs. Like Mitch Hooper gets so bored. I mean, we've only, we've known him less than a year, but he needs people to talk to yeah. and almost to play with. <laughs> he's like a child. Yes. And everyone has their own little thing. Andrea needs space mm. and she like she appreciates distractions, but she doesn't want that to be in the form of her competitors. Mm. And you do really get to know people yeah. and and what does and doesn't work for them everyone so. has little different things don't they definitely and little quirks as far as interesting to observe obviously you love the sport now but in the beginning when he first started were you as invested 
as he was in Strongman. No, not really. Um, but Lars made we, a point we, of getting me We worked me together when I first started Strongman no, as well. No. So I'd been doing Strongman for a fair while before we met. Yeah. But um, You quickly got me into the swing of things because you've got all of the world's strongest man on DVD, haven't you? Yeah. So he was like, right, we have to get you up to speed. <laughs> and But yeah, like I really enjoyed it. And yeah, it's a big part of who he yeah. is. So it was very easy to pick up. What's it like carrying the mental load of handling a high-level athlete during peak in the gym, travelling, supporting the eating habits and competition day? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Anything that keeps you busy is good because it distracts from the enormity of the event and the day, I think. Yeah, I think both of us like to sort of forget about the competition as much as possible. Yeah. You, know, you have <laughs> yeah. to obviously focus on eating and stuff like that but yeah but distractions are always good weren't they and yeah. just like yeah being organized and doing little bits and bobs is that's good. all the questions auntie Liz. good yeah. Yeah. I, I did obviously leave off all of the uh, more explicit ones was about, there any, what, was, what, was, what, what explicit ones <laughs> or about certain positions that were honestly seriously bunch of perverts <laughs> <laughs> not all of you I'll find you. <laughs> I don't know who it was. It's probably you, actually. It, wasn't it wasn't you. me. Oh, okay. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Tend to be prepared. Maybe, maybe one was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> knew it all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video please go and give liz a follow on instagram if you don't follow her already don't send me any weird messages <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed this slightly different video from a wife's perspective of the sport and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time take care